The other major early disclosure law, which is a companion piece to RESPA, is the Truth in Lending Act. Some people refer to it as TILA. Some people call it TILA. I call it TILA the gorilla. It is a beast. In 1968, old William Proxmire was running around the Senate going, what's up with the mortgage industry? All right, you go down to a tire store and you want to buy a set of tires, you know exactly what those tires are going to cost before you buy it. If you go down to a furniture store and you want to buy a couch, you know what that couch is going to cost before you buy it. You go into a bank, a lender, and you ask them, what is the loan going to cost? They can't tell you. All right? And so William Proxmire, that's the way he sold it to Congress. The purpose of TILA was to disclose the cost of credit so the borrower could make an informed decision about their use of credit. So that's the key purpose. Whenever you're studying a law, you always begin with the purpose. So the purpose of TILA is to disclose the cost of credit so the borrower, the consumer, can make an informed decision about whether or not they want to borrow the money. So we have an early disclosure. It's called the TIL, the Truth in Lending Disclosure. And this discloses the cost of credit. Now the key concept is we disclose the cost two ways. We disclose it as a dollar amount, that's called the finance charge, and we disclose it as an interest. That's called the annual percentage rate, the APR. Always remember, when you put somebody into a mortgage contract, it is a contract for payments of principal and interest. All right, a 30-year loan, 360 payments. A 15-year loan, 180 payments of what? Of principal and interest. The truth in lending disclosure is going to let the borrower know how many payments they're committing to, and then they're going to show them the total, uh, total of payments over the life of the loan. If the borrower pays every single payment as contracted on the note, then the truth in lending document will disclose that to them. It's called the total of payments. Then you have the amount financed. If you'll look at your TIL disclosure, you'll see right to the left of total of payments is the amount financed. Make a note to yourself, the amount financed is the net amount borrowed. Think about it this way. If the gross loan amount is $180,000 and the uh, net loan amount is $176,450, your closing costs are $3550 then it's the net amount that the borrower is actually going to get use of after they've paid for your closing costs. It's kind of like your gross pay and your net pay. You get a $1,500 gross paycheck, you don't get to use all $1,500, do you? Because you've got to pay your taxes and so on. So you have gross pay, net pay. Same thing with a loan. You have a gross loan amount of $180. You may have a net loan amount of $176,450. Now, when you subtract the net amount borrowed, the amount financed from the total of payments, you're going to get the true dollar cost of the loan, which makes up all of the interest and all of the closing costs. When you put those two together, when you take all the interest charges and you take all the closing costs that you're going to charge your borrower and you put those two together, it's called the finance charge. And that's the true dollar cost of the loan. Now you have the APR. The APR is a shopping tool. When you take a rate of 7% and you take closing costs of $35.50 and you express that over the term of the loan, all right, then the APR is going to be 7.32. And what, it, what that's designed to do is give the borrower a comparison shopping tool so they can take a look at the total cost of one service provider and compare it against the total cost of another service provider. Now, what goes into the cost of a loan? all of the interest charges, and all of your closing costs. When you put those two together, you got the cost of the loan. So, remember, the Truth in Lending Act is designed to show to the borrower the true cost of credit so they can make an informed decision about their use of credit.